Hey IGN, this is Eric. And I'm Jim. And we're here today to talk to you about Bruno. After being ousted from the international fashion community, gay Austrian TV personality Bruno sets out on a world quest to become the world's biggest celebrity. So let's get right into this. And I think the comparison that everybody wants to, to know about is, how does this compare next to Borat? Yeah, I mean, it, Borat was such a phenomenon. Uh, it's tough to recapture lightning twice, you know? And, and the novelty of Sacha Baron Cohen and his modus operandi uh, has kind of worn off and people are more hip to who he is and how he operates. And I think that does kind of negatively impact Bruno to some degree. You definitely get the sense that more people than not were in on the joke and that a lot of things feel staged. Really? Okay. So, yeah. so you, yeah, I could see that. I mean, you know, Borat was such a, a novelty at the time that it came yeah. out. It's hard to think that, you know, unless you've been living in a cave uh, since that time, who yeah. hasn't heard of Sasha Baron Cohen? Right, you know? right. You know, and, and even leading up to the film's release, you know, the stunt at MTV Movie Awards, all of that, you know, you, you definitely get the feeling that people know who he is and, and they want to be in on the joke. You know? Right, right. Of course, you know, uh, on the flip side of that is, if you, you feel like you're seeing something staged, you give it five minutes, and then you have probably one of the most shocking <laughs> yeah. moments you've ever seen on film before. The movie, the movie is hugely funny. It's really hilarious, really outrageous, really raunchy. It's no holds barred. Uh, Sash Baron Cohen will do pretty much anything for a laugh. Uh, some of the, the, the big highlights in this movie are um, the uh, straight Dave uh, cage, cage match, match. Yeah. Um, the gay cure counseling sessions, right. the swingers party, oral sex with the ghost of a dead pop star. <laughs> Um, uh, what else am I forgetting? There's a, a, a TV talk show appearance uh, yeah. where, where Bruno brings his adopted Gaby, as he calls him. <laughs> That's right, uh, that, he, that he adopted from Africa. Yeah, so, it, so it's insane. I mean, it really did take my face about five minutes to reset from just that jaw-dropped <laughs> look uh, after the film. But um, why don't you take us home? Why don't you give us your star rating and your final thoughts? All right, I, I really enjoyed the movie. I thought it was really funny. Um, despite feeling that most of it was probably staged, you still can't help but laugh your ass off. Um, I, I'm gonna give it three and a half out of five stars uh, for no other reason than I don't think Bruno ultimately as a character is quite as memorable or kind of appealing as Borat. Borat for all of his, you know, his ignorance and, and prejudices and, and flaws, was more kind of audience friendly and quotable. I don't think people are gonna really be quoting Bruno the way that they were Borat, but uh, overall you're gonna have a great time at this movie, it's pretty funny. Yeah, I recommend seeing it with your buddies or your girlfriend, but uh, don't go see it with your parents. There you have it, for more Bruno coverage, be sure to check out movies.ign.com.